Marty Richard from Hollister and Ray Friend thought he was going to get away unscathed tonight, but that's not going to happen. <laughs> so I'm going to, I may run a minute over. I hope you will be tolerant because I didn't speak much in the last month because you had no meetings. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about Mr. Friend who uh, has shown extraordinary personal courage in his battles for health. Uh, and most of the people here know that. But what they may not know is that over 50 years ago, a much younger Mr. Ray Friend showed the same kind of courage in saving his friends and his ship when a major fire and a series of massive explosions broke out aboard the carrier USS Enterprise off the coast of Hawaii in 1969. Now that's a long time ago, and many of you may think it's ancient history. For those of you who only know the USS Enterprise as the starship in the fictional Star Trek universe, uh, it actually, uh, or a space show, it was actually uh, um, a historic, the name Enterprise is historic ships in the United States Navy. There have been eight American ships named the Enterprise and the ninth, an aircraft carrier is currently under construction. The first Enterprise was commissioned in 1775 during the Revolutionary War. The first aircraft carrier Enterprise, which you, many of you may know as the Big E, was commissioned in 1938 and served with unparalleled distinction in World War II, and it was the most awarded and decorated ship in the entire war during World War II. The Big E, uh, on which Ray Friend served was commissioned in 1961. It was the world's first nuclear aircraft carrier. And as of 212, it was the U.S. Navy's longest serving combat vessel. It was officially decommissioned last year, but it almost did not make it to last year because of what happened. In 1969, an accidental series of accidental uh, bomb explosions uh, blew holes in the flight deck of the Enterprise, allowing burning jet fuel to enter the ship's interior. 28 sailors were killed, more than 300 were injured, and it could have been worse. As described in the book, Trial of the Ordeal of the USS Enterprise, Ray pulled out a fire hose and fought the fire along with his shipmates while burning fuel poured down into the space from the holes overhead. He doesn't talk much about it. One detonation blew a seven foot by eight foot hole in the steel flight deck, right on top of it. Ray's host team was blown from, from the pressure from one side of the ship to the other through the compartment and the hot gases knocked out all the lights. <coughs> and they still tried to save the wounded. Eventually, those his heroic actions helped save the ship. What can you ask from someone but that? Thanks, Ray. I salute.